All right, welcome back to Pharmacist on Call. Your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt. Your doctors are busy, your pharmacists are busy. They don't have time. For this hour, I do. So call in with those questions and those comments. So we're gonna get right back into your calls, try to get through them rather quickly here. Looks like we've got Billy. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. I may help you. Billy? Billy going once. Billy going twice. Okay. Millie, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. Let me help you. Hello, Dr. Pruitt. Yes, ma'am. Tell me, one of your regular customers, I have seen that got your, uh, 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 your phone is breaking up there. Okay, I think, well, I'm looking at you on TV and I, I think we got a delay. Yeah, I'm looking at you uh, too. <laughs> okay, I'm becoming a regular customer because I have been there to the potion. Yes, ma'am. Uh, um, well, you, you, I can't even say it. For the potion for the COVID. Yes, ma'am. And your dr uh, drops for my um, thyroid. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. The um, It's the Lugol's. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And, and your water. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so I just wanted to, to say all of those things that I have been, have gotten from you have helped me, made me feel a lot better. And the, the one thing I haven't gotten that I want to get is the uh, the oil for the, the skin. Okay. All right. Well, when you uh, come in next time, it's yours. Yeah, the girl, when I was in there the other day to give me some water, she gave me a little sample uh -huh. of it, and it, I really like it. I had an irritation on my eyelid, and it really helped me so much. All right, good deal. Yes, ma'am. All right, so I just wanted to say I appreciate you, and uh, I'm really happy so far with the results I'm getting from all of your products. All right, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I know who you are once you see the thyroid drops. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I will see you then one day this week to get my oil for my the, uh skin oil. Okay, all right, we'll see you then. I got your name down all here. All right, thank you. Okay, oh. thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, bye-bye. Right. Okay, let's see. We've got Monty. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. Let me help you. <coughs> Hello, I have a question. Yes. For the pharmacy? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm 69 years old, and for a long time, I've had a problem with the hiccups. I have them almost daily, every day, and I've tried everything. I've talked to my PCP about it, mm -hmm. and and I really got nowhere, and I still have that problem. Every day, I can get them uh, after I eat a meal, and I can get them... When, during the night when I'm asleep or when I wake up in the morning. Could you give me any kind of advice or suggestion on what to do? How soon after you eat do you lay down? Oh, an hour. An hour or so. All right, so we're going to do a couple of things. A, we're not going to eat as much at night as we used to because when we eat a big heavy meal. I don't meal, eat much. Uh, I don't eat much at all. I okay. eat once a day. Once a day? Okay. So make sure you're, yeah. you're sitting up a couple of hours to give it time to digest and then follow it with some water, too, and give it time to digest. Now, there is a prescription medication that uh, we give for it. I don't necessarily like, you know, the, uh, the side effects, but you may be a candidate for it. So uh, ask your doctor about... Chlorpromazine and see if he. Uh, I won't never. I'll I tell won't you what, never remember that. Call me at the pharmacy. Uh -huh. Call me at the pharmacy uh, Sunday, and we'll we'll talk about it in depth. Well, well I talk about it too deeply on the on air, but the only way I found to get rid of them is to gag myself. It's a gag myself, and I don't like to do that. My PCP said it could be all of my esophagus, but that's the only way I found them. And I can't, 
sleep with hiccups. I don't know. I was just looking for help. I've had these for a long time. And when we have a talk, uh, uh, I'm going to suggest our CBD oil for you, too. Um, the the THC in it may settle that because part of it is a, a, a nerve issue as well. Uh, but I think this may help you as well because this also has a stomach settling function as well. Okay, I can call your office and, and yeah, the producer's find gonna, out more about it. Yeah, she's going to flash the number up there. So give me a call Sunday in between 12 and 4. So everybody, I'll be there Sunday if you all want to talk. Okay, yeah, I want to. I've had it for a long time. It is really a burden. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. All right, so I will put yeah. you down here, Mr. Monty. So you got the hiccups. But yeah, but we'll we'll talk in depth about what you can do specifically for it. Okay. Would you be able to call me back or No, nah, you better call I'm me not... down there. I'll be I'll be rolling as soon as I hit that door. Well, I'm I'm not able to write right now. I'm disabled. And, okay. Uh, and all the writers and all that. Sixty nine years old. I, if you can uh, remember yeah. five six two meds M E D S on your phone. Remember what? Five six two meds. That's a phone number. Five six two med. Uh huh. M E D S. Okay. Okay, Sunday afternoon. Between 12 and 4. 562 MED. Yes, I'll sir. write that down right now. Okay. All Thanks right. for talking to me. Yes, sir. You're welcome. All right, thank you, Monty. All right, thank you, Monty. Okay, let's see. James, welcome to Farm System Call. Let me help you. Right. Uh, hi, Doctor. I usually just listen to this. It was very informative, but i got a question now. I'm got quite a few of them, I'm years old. Okay. I've um, got one of them. Uh, I w was on one type of metformin. I'm on another type now. It's uh, metformin, HCL, 500 milligrams, 24 hours. That's supposed, that's supposed to be a time release or something, Extend long last. Yeah, extended release. It should be a small, it should be like a... Um, like a tablet, but it's elongated rectangle. The normal metformin is going to be circular. Right, right. Now take one tablet twice a day. Okay. Uh, my blood, my blood work came back about well six, seven days ago, and my A1C was up. It was seven point one. So it prescribed a new type of medication, medication to add to what I'm taking, and it is. Uh, it, it sounds like empagliflozine. One more time. I spell it. E M P A D L I F L O Z I N E. I am drawing. Like, okay. That's like empagliflozine. Okay. Okay, I just it just came today. I haven't, haven't even started taking it. Okay. Uh, I'm supposed to take one half tablet once a day. That's supposed to help with the uh, breath to lower my A1C. So I'm wondering what this actually does. It's supposed to lose weight too and whatever, you know? Yeah, and it's a. Information on yeah, that's part of the uh, the Gliptan family. So, yeah, it does also reduce, uh, reduce weight as well as your blood sugar. Okay, okay. But. Since you called in and asked about your A1C, you also get a bottle of beetroot juice to add to that to bring your A1C down and your blood pressure. Well, I will take it. I swear by it. Okay. Uh, I, I, I was in the other day and got some. Uh, I will, if this is James. I will be in to get my couple of bottle of beet juice because it really works. All right. Good deal. Good deal. All right. We'll see you, Mr. James. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All righty. Let's see. We've got Effie. Welcome to Farm System Call. Let me help you. Effie? Hello, Effie. Going once. Hello. Hello, yeah. this is Effie. Yes, ma'am. Can I get you to turn your TV down so we can hear you I a little bit? I am doing that right now. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, How can we help you? Oh, let me see if this thing down. Um, 
I, uh, the doctor had prescribed me some Perlisac, you know, for, uh, for, uh, you know, your stomach for the acid. Is there anything I could use besides getting that? I don't like to take medication at all. You said Prozac? Prolisac. Oh, Prilosec. Okay. Um, I recommend two things. Uh, one is our alkaline water. This right here. And most people say it reduces that acid reflux. Yeah, it reduces it within uh, 15 to 20 minutes. The other thing yeah. is not to lay down right after you eat. And so like I was telling the other gentleman, make sure you're sitting up a couple of hours to give your food an appropriate right. amount of time to digest. And also okay. not a heavy meal. Uh, so that's going to make your stomach burn hard. Well, not burn, but uh, churn more acid so that it can break down all that food that you ate. But this right here... A number of people have come off of their prolo or omeprazole uh, just by drinking this water. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. Oh, and, oh, wow. Yeah, because in that, you know, like, I have uh, also, I have uh, uh, osteoporosis, and uh, I was just thinking if that has something to do with, you know, my bones, you know, taking that, would that make it worse? That's the Prilosec? Yeah. <sighs> Potentially, maybe. Are you supplementing with calcium and D, vitamin D? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me take a look at that. Give me a call at the pharmacy Sunday, and uh, mm -hmm. and we'll see if it has a, a role. Yeah, because a lot of times what's happening to me right now is that I'm always clearing my throat, and I know that that's probably the the acid in my stomach because you know coming up like that and always trying to get that cleared out and. And now, like, it's in my ears. I don't know what's going on. So it sounds like you're going to get a free gallon of alkaline water. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, so, I, live in, I live in Murfreesboro, so, so you say I, I can't really go there often to get some of that water. So. We have a lot of people who come from Murfreesboro. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. And Sunday is their day. Sunday is their day. Yeah. Oh, well. Between 12 and 4. Just get your Sunday five gallons. Well, you get one free. Get your four more gallons, and that should last you a minute. <laughs> okay, so I call you Sunday about the uh, information about the uh, bone mm -hmm. issue. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So I get a free gallon of uh... alkaline water. You do. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All, All righty. Bye bye. Okay, let's see. We are going to go to Karen. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. Let me help you. Karen? Uh, I'm so sorry. I had my phone on mute. Okay. How are you doing this evening, Dr. Pruitt? Pretty good. How are you? I am grateful. Uh, I want to ask a couple of questions. Of course, I've had your Pruitt's Potion. Uh, love it. I haven't had a bottle in a few months, but okay. I've got to get back to get some. Right. But um, my first question regarding that is, you know, when you hear people talk about different medications and things mixing and how it may can give them a reaction, I just wanted to ask you, because I take vitamins as well, the vitamins and your Pruitt's Potion will not interact because I'm trying to do everything to continue to keep my immune system built up. I did contract COVID back in November. <clears throat> Excuse me, I believe it was the Delta one because I had it bad. But okay. I ended up getting the monoclonal antibodies. Yes, ma'am. So I've, I've, I've recovered greatly. Okay, good. Thank the Lord for that. So I'm just wanting to know, and I still continue my vitamin regimen as well as taking the poor potion. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. In fact, I tell people, yeah, extra zinc and extra vitamin D uh, will go a long way along with the potion. So the role that uh, oh, okay. zinc plays is it uh, it blocks that the uh, the ACE2 receptor site that the virus uses to get in to infect the body. So you certainly want to keep your zinc up and then your vitamin D levels uh, also boost the uh, antibody production in the body. And it's hard for us, like I said, as African Americans because the melanin in our skin blocks most of that vitamin D we would get from the sun. So we need to go high on vitamin D. We have some in the potion, but I, rec I welcome everyone to supplement at least somewhere between 2,000 and 5,000 units a day. Yes, okay. So let me ask you also when it comes to the vitamins, because I do the vitamin D3, I do the zinc, good. I do the vitamin C. Good, good. Um, do I 
Do I need to take vitamins every day? Can you take too many vitamins or can you get too much vitamin in your body or, or what? Maybe it sounds crazy. No, it's called hypervitaminosis, but living here in the South, I doubt that we eat a healthy enough diet <laughs> to overdo oh, it on vitamins. So I remember these things are called supplements, so they supplement what we don't get in our diets. Got you. Mm -hmm. One more quick question, and then I'll just have to get down there, Sunday. The, um, I'm wanting to know with the beetroot juice and I haven't had that in probably about a year or so but I uh, know I've been dealing with cholesterol issues and now my cholesterol is at a place with my um, PCP that uh, she's a little concerned okay. I don't want any medication so I'm wanting to know because I want to get back and get beetroot juice again and start it because I know it worked a couple of years ago but my cholesterol wasn't that bad Okay. Might have been a little hot, but not bad. But my question to that is, um, when I go back to her to take a test, I know that sometimes that beetroot juice that my sister dealt with a lot of potassium mm -hmm. in her body, so her doctor told her to stop. What type of test should I get to make sure I don't get too much potassium? Because I do want to get, uh, you know, to uh, get the beetroot juice again. Yeah. Yeah, just a basic Chem 6, so they'll, they'll test your sodium, potassium, your chloride. I forget all what all the, uh, the tests are, but yeah, just a basic potassium level test, and they can see where you are. We usually see that in people who have uh, uh, kidney disease uh, because they don't kick out the potassium uh, as, as quickly as others do. So, you know, I, I think you'll be okay with a healthy amount of water. And if your kidneys are yeah. functioning properly, you should be good. Uh, I'd probably, okay. you know, if, depending on where your cholesterol is, beetroot juice, yes. Mm -hmm. And then also look at red yeast rice. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, red yeast rice. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my, my cholesterol was about two... 30-something, but yeah. I believe it has dropped some, so okay. then when I come to the store, can I get the uh, the red yeast rice as a complimentary or, or what? Yes, ma'am, you can. You can, yes, ma'am. Okay, mm -hmm. all right then. Well, I hope to get there this Sunday. These roads don't get too bad. Uh, I think they'll be okay. All right, all so right, we'll put your name you. in. All right, thank you. All right. All right, bye-bye. All right, everyone, stay right there. We're up on another break. We will be right back.